After having impressive talks with officials of the host government, the vice president visited one of the top private food processing companies in Nigeria. The poultry farm with different production lines is said to be meeting about 80% food needs of the entire population. I think that what Nigerians also would need, Nigerian investors also would need, is to be able to understand that um, first there is enough support for uh, for the industry that the, and, and that the incentives are good, the opportunities are good and um, I, I'm convinced if we're able to produce poultry locally, if we're able to produce a lot of what we eat locally, the market is there, we have a huge market. So for any businessman, clearly, I mean, Nigeria is a golden, uh, golden opportunity and I think that uh, the relationships that we've been able to build here and some of what we've seen here will, will benefit uh, local businesses greatly. Not only investors were advised to make use of opportunities that come their way, this was also emphasized when the vice president had audience with representatives of Nigerians residing in the country, most of them students and professionals. Vice President Oshibaju also had talks with the President of the People's National Assembly, Larbi Khalifa, and together visited the Arts and Crafts Center. Rivalry between Nigeria and Algeria has always been on the field of sports where they try to outdo each other. But on other fields, they are co-partners working to move the nations of Africa forward politically and economically. From Algiers, Jide Onifadi, NT News, 